Hello and welcome to the AM channel. My name is Brian Mustafa and I believe in you and I believe in the power of your dreams. If you are new to this channel, just subscribe, like, uh, just send me a message. And I also want to hear your response. So type in yes, and I know that you are listening to me and you can get me clear. So today we are going to talk about finance, niches, niches in the finance or money or whatever it is. So we need to do more in, the, in KDP publishing. And before you can do more, you need to get have like niches that you can publish in. So my focus is always to bring you niches that possibly you can be able to publish in. So if it's a niche, single niche, one that you can even identify, that's good. But that is my purpose. So let's look at the financial sector and uh, some of the niches that you can easily publish in and uh, in anticipation of one or two sales. Right, so let's go in. The first niche is budget planner. So you need to do more. And the budget planner is one of the planners that people use to like organize their finance finances or future whatever they want to spend. Uh, they use that. So let's look inside. I'm pretty sure they are simple uh, to design, and you can also get the designs. Uh, on Creative Fabrica, so this is just it. Uh, bank accounts, so trust me, it's something that you can just easily design or you just buy the interior template on Creative Fabrica, and you can do more. So budget planner is one. Number two is expense tracker. So I go so people need to track their daily spending and uh, daily or weekly or monthly. So they need an expense tracker to be able to do that. So once you have an expense tracker to organize bills and to do whatever, you can use the expense tracker. So the inside is just simple, date item cost, date item cost, so category. So this is just pretty much. But you can also design your own based on how you want it. So expense tracker is just like that. Let's look inside this. And uh, sales is not that bad. So expense tracker. So okay, so this uh, the normal traditional expense tracker is date, description, expense description, payment method, and amount. Then you just duplicate that, and uh, you can put the total expenses. I'm uh, pretty sure you carry that across all the book, and you make it like a book. So you can be able to like publish some books in the expense tracker in the, this niche. And the third one is savings tracker. So since people are willing to track their expenses, they can also save and track their savings. So maybe if it's saving money that you have in your savings accounts, or you are doing some money box somewhere that you are saving, you still need to take track of that and uh, be able to track and know what you are doing. So you need a savings tracker and pretty much it's like the expense tracker. But uh, here maybe just some differences. So if uh, so date, notes, deposit, withdrawal and balance. So if it could be even be uh, money in your accounts or somewhere that you need to take care of. So that's the purpose of the uh, savings tracker and people buy this to track their savings. So you can also design a book in that category and have it in your niches. Then the fourth one is, the fourth book is check register. So check register is also related to money. And once you, you like you have this in your catalog, you, you can be able to make some sales because organizations buy this and uh, even individuals who still use check system, they buy this to register their check and uh, to just take care of their bookkeepings. So uh, inside this, I have a couple of this in my books. So date, code, description, debit, credit, and balance. Sometimes, they, okay, the code is the check number, date, description, debit, and um, it's quite a good book. Then uh, we have financial goal, financial goal or financial goal planner. 
so any of them financial goal planner so you need to some people they plan their finances ahead so they want to let maybe like look at this one 100 day financial goal so in 100 days this, this person wants to achieve this so the person is putting in uh, some savings or just plan his or her finances so this book also you can publish here to reach out and uh, meet your financial uh, goal or money planner so people say money plan or stuff so pretty sure these are some of the niches i have for you and i believe that you get one or two to publish your books and if you don't get one or two here please refer to some of the videos i published later i posted later and uh, you can get pretty sure lay your hands on something that you can keep doing i just want you to be busy the more you publish in different niches the more you can scale expand your business and that is why i'm doing this so you can also get interior templates on creative fabrica and i'm going to leave the description uh, the, the link in the description below for you to buy any of the above uh, templates you want and they are ready to upload i also have uh, my kdp publishing course uh, that you can just enroll in it's 164 but it's discount discounted in the description below you can get it for 98 dollars so and what will you learn how to publish your first low and no content books to amazon how to do keyword researches how to do nature search for kdp books how to create manuscript interiors how to scale your kdp low and low content books how to market your kdp books for free you will get free 15 KDP ready to upload interiors to start your no content publishing and how to fill KDP backend keywords. So these are all things that you can be able to get and uh, it goes for $98. If you also want to get one-on-one -on -one coaching from me, there's an email that you can reach out to me. There's an email in the description below. It's imempire10 at gmail.com. You can reach out to me for only... $500. I'll take you through and show you all the processes for one on one coaching. We get straight to business and do it more. So the choice is yours. I'm ready for this month. Let's move on. Thank you for doing the monitoring. I believe in you.